Munchkin Man, the Munchkin Man, the Munchkin Man. Do you know the Munchkin Man that has a big fat face? Of course you do. Big Ed, the honorary Munchkin people love to hate and for good reason. And if that sounds like you, well then you're in the right place. Welcome to Michelle McDaniel After Dark. So let's just turn that back on. Only the special people are allowed to subscribe. So try it. The button's right down there. Hit the subscribe button if it says subscribe. Well, by golly, that means you are special. Congrats. Okay, we need to catch up on Big Ed because he was insecure about Liz having friends because he thinks she's a lesbian. He's insecure about men that talk to her because he thinks that she will also cheat on him with men. And now he's insecure about working late and pretty much making her choose between her daughter and him. What? Let's watch. Now that you're going back to work, I mean, how do you feel? There are gonna be times where I will have to work late or I may have to pick up a weekend night shift. I don't want 1 a.m. bull Not that 1 a.m. bull you know what these women do when they're at work past 12.59, talking to their lesbian friends. That's right, men. Stay woke. If, gosh forbid, I do need to pick up a Friday shift, it is gonna be a midnight, one o'clock. I'm not there gonna understand days. that. I don't want you working till 1 a.m. All right, adding to the list of uh, the things that Big Ed does not understand. Let's see, we have sometimes women don't shave. You know, they might skip or forget. We also have the fact that he doesn't understand poverty. He was confused about how Rose lived, even though he claimed he loved her and they talked about everything and she told him many times about how she lives, but he didn't understand that. And now we can also add shifts that run until 12 and definitely doesn't understand shifts that go till 1 a.m. Got it. But the girl needs to work, Ed. 90 Day Fiance isn't going to pay the bills for the rest of her life, okay? I'm sorry, I don't. And I'm never gonna be okay with that. It's a restaurant. Yeah, you're making it into something weird and dramatic for no reason, except the fact that you are a controlling little person and extremely insecure. Because you know, if you are out late, you are doing something with a thin Asian woman that you have said that you love so much. Well, I guess the ones that will be around you. I still can't just fathom any woman wanting to be around Ed, but let me just say, God, please, thin Asian woman, stop hanging around Big Ed. Even doing TikToks with him. He thinks that you like him. And in my head, I'm just gonna get that you don't. So don't give him any ounce of thought that you do. I can't just work days. It's just the industry. The industry? The restaurant industry? <laughs> or like the waitress industry? Big Ed, cause you know, just because someone is in the restaurant industry and is out late doesn't mean that they are cheating. Cheaters cheat any time of day. Morning, <laughs> afternoon, and night. They will find a way. Like he did. He doesn't work in the restaurant industry and he cheated. And you've told me, oh my God, somebody wanted to go get a drink. I've worked at a gym. I've been asked out to go day drinking by men and women. I'd rather you and I have a drink on our sofa snuggling. I want you to want that. Ew, who would want that? Not me, I'm not in a relationship with him. Let's just see how the woman who he is in a relationship with face looks right now. Not looking good. I don't think she even wants it. And she said that she's attracted to Ed. I don't think she's too attracted to him at the moment. And also controlling someone and their time and being jealous of their work is no way to get someone to actually want to cuddle with your little munchkin body. Whoa, did he just hurt his back by just standing there? Remember when he told Liz she needs to go to the gym and lose weight? Ed, you're just standing. Reduce the circumference around your waist so you don't have so much lumbar pain. You won't have to make that face during mid-conversation. I saw them tiny legs on the leg press. Get off your ass and start working out. It is an issue when you're top heavy. I would know. The concerns I have with Liz working late, the people that she works with, it's young adult kids that are still in school and they're there to make money and party. Stop. How can this man want so much out of women's looks when he looks like a damn orange on the beach? And also, Ed, uh, restaurants, mostly teens and college kids get jobs there. That's not Liz's fault. What do you want her to do, quit her job so that she can depend 
on you and all that money you make from all those amazing cameos. In excess. And in the past, it was hard for me because Liz's coworkers didn't like me and they would be whispering in her ear about our relationship. It's hard to burst your little orange body bubble, but people outside of work are also telling her that you and the relationship are poopies. Everybody online, it won't stop there. You're gonna have to turn into Mother Gothel. Build a tower and enchant her with some type of spell. But spoiler, that didn't stop Flynn Ryder from finding Rapunzel. And Flynn was attractive and he has the smolder. Here comes the smolder. It worked on her and it will work on Liz. She would be going from controlling creepy little munchkin man to attractive ruffian with just a little tiny sketchy past. It's an upgrade. So then Ed blames Liz's coworkers for their breakup. I think that led to our breaking up. It's definitely not from his horrible jealous attitude and him controlling everything down to the hour she works or that he cheated and constantly insults her. And the fact that he broke up with her 10 times. How are you blaming other people for your breakup with someone, little munchkin man? I don't want to do that. I don't want that. Begin. Then don't. Don't break up with her if you don't want to break up with her and treat her better if you don't want her to leave, you freaking idiot. This is very simple to solve, but you're making it weird. You make everything weird. It's just my job. It's my title there, but I yeah. mean, what you say goes. Hold on, I just, I just gotta, just give me one second. Get back up here. Okay, I just had to let out a little steam for all the women who let this shit fly. Cause I would need to be flying as I'm leaving because I don't think he can handle what these legs can do. And I don't wanna go to jail. Orange is not my color. Well, I don't want to walk away from this conversation unless you feel good. Way to be a big man, Big Ed. That's why, you know, I see why they call you Big Ed. Just a big, a big good guy. I'm walking away because it's just not worth fighting about. I'm going back to work, I'm making my paycheck, and I'm following your terms. Our terms. Uh, no. Don't you try to manipulate the situation like you both made this decision together. Liz complied to your request because she's weak. Yes, I know you guys feel sorry for her, but let's be real, she's weak. She could easily kick this fool in the butt, roll him down the beachside hill and do her thing. This isn't even a discussion. She wants to work more, she wants more money, but no. She decides to sit in the corner and say, yes, Lord Farquaad, I won't pick up any more hours. It's not like inflation is high as and we live in one of the most expensive cities in California. And you wanna know why Liz wants to pick up more hours and make more money? Because she needs to prove that she can be financially stable to be able to keep her daughter near her. I don't know the whole story, but the father of Liz's daughter is saying he wants to move abroad. If I have any chance of contributing to a house or potentially taking on my daughter, I need to be able to prove that I can provide. Andrew Tate is quaking right now in prison. A woman providing? How dare she? But yeah, she clearly can't depend on Big Ed. He's broken up with her 10 times, might I remind you, and trying to FaceTime his ex. Ed always asking me for a uh, FaceTime. <gasps> you mean to tell me the guy that was worried about Liz talking to other female friends and men is trying to talk to his ex-girlfriend? So Ed said that he didn't, hasn't spoken to you at all, and then now he's saying he can't remember if he spoke to you. <gasps> You're telling me that Big Ed, the man that can remember every single person that Liz has talked to and even make up some can't remember if he tried to FaceTime his ex-girlfriend multiple times? I didn't. Oh good, I'm glad you remembered that you didn't. Because he always messaged me and I have a um, screenshot. <gasps> you mean the guy that everyone calls an idiot forgot that phones have a feature where you can screenshot everything, including when someone's trying to FaceTime you? 
and text. Okay, well, we, we have that screenshot. Can you read that for us, please? So I absolutely love when the host is like, Ed, tell us about Rose. You know, your ex-girlfriend, anything going on with her? And then Big Ed is like, or any guest on reality television, I never talked to her. I never contacted her. Actually, I don't even know her. Well, the lie detector tested that you were a lie. We have all the screenshots of everything. <laughs> Put them up on the board, Charles. So they have Liz walk her ass up and read the text of Big Ed not talking to Rose. I hope all is well. You look amazing. She says thanks. He says, I want to come to the Philippines again to see you if you're open. Wow. And then Big Ed just sits there like the fat, dumb, dumb he is. And everyone is just sitting there in complete silence. In everyone's head, they're probably saying, this is TLC. They want to make drama. So if you're cheating, trying to cheat, thinking about cheating, and they have a woman there that you have been trying to talk to or visit in the Philippines, they most likely have some sort of proof, like screenshots. There's a reason she's there, you dumb head. God damn it. So he's just sitting there trying to think of a way to get himself out of this mess. So let's hear it, Ed. What do you got? You just said that you were in communication with her. Liz, sit down. Jesus Did Christ. he not just say that he, he did. hasn't spoken to her? Did you say yes or no? Did you or did you not just say I have not spoken to her? Me no speak English. <laughs> the fact that she just keeps going back with him. Ten times this man has broken up with her. Ten times and ten chances she had to leave before he gave her that stupid ass excuse. So then people start chiming in because what the f What the f you know what, it's not something to joke about. And many people, including me, have called him, you know, Ed, a narcissist. And I've said that word really means nothing because that's a word that people just use for anyone that they disagree with or they just don't slightly like. But with Ed, this clip proves it, okay? He just got exposed. Let me break it down. For lying about contacting his ex. Keep in mind, he doesn't allow Liz to have friends, work late, out for drinks, um, oh no God, male friends, that is just unacceptable. But she caught him doing what he has always thought that she was doing. And he says this. Ed. It is, cause she's, this is her, this is who Liz is. What in the holy hell did she do? She asked you a question and yo ass lied. And now this is her problem? You just lied hey, to Liz. everybody right here. The silence is thick. Uh, Liz, anything you wanna say? I, um, tired of all the lies. This just in, Liz was tired of all the lies because the couple has broken up for the 11th time. So Big Ed was very upset and shocked, <laughs> like an idiot, that they revealed all of that on public television. So let me get out my notebook uh, again. I've dropped my pen during that little fight fiasco I had. So I'm just gonna take like a pretend note here. But Ed does not understand technology and reality TV. At the end of the episode, Ed insisted that Liz gives the ring back, which she did, and the couple are now split up for the 11th time. Until he seduces her with one of his sensual TikTok dances because she's obviously in this for the looks. I refuse to believe that it's his personality. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Fit it up. Hop in my car and I get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up. Ooh, I've been on the flex since flex on. Neighborhood all in your eardrums. I ain't never scared.